Okay, welcome to another episode of Out Pairs for Dummies. In our last episode, we wrote a small assembly language program that simply print the sentence, I like my computer, up on the screen a single time. In this episode, we're going to try to modify our program a little bit to uh, see some different results. And the first thing we're going to modify, instead of printing this, the sentence, I like my computer one time, is we're going to make a small modification and have that continually loop so that it prints, I like my computer, continuously down the screen. So let's take a look how that's done. Okay, you can see I've already entered the program here and it's ready in its original state and it's ready to run. So let's see if it will run. EX execute zero and there it goes. I like my computer one time. Now we're going to have to, it's in a continuous loop so we're going to have to do a stop and reset and then bring back up our prompt. And now let's make a change to, uh, I believe it is, address E. Yes, address E should be a 0D. So first let's take a look. D U E. And there's our 0D. So let's enter E and change that from a 0D to a zero zero so it loops back up to the top and then it continually prints. Now let's see what happens if we execute at zero. And there we go. A continual loop of I like my computer. That's great. Alright, now we're back to our original program here. I like my computer. And the first thing I can show you is the, the one ma minor change that we made that would allow the program to continually loop, I like my computer. That was made right down here where we checked for FF and we would normally go back into a loop right here that would cause the program to stop. Well, instead of doing that, we changed this back to 0, 0. So now when FF is was seen, it would jump back to the very beginning of the program and load the very first letter again, check the status register, and start printing all the letters until it got the FF, and then it would see, hey, let's loop again. So it would be a continuous loop. So now we want to make another change to have more control over our program and specify the number of times we would like to print, I like my computer on the screen. So to do this, the first thing we're going to need to do is add an additional counter and start that counter at zero. So let's look here where I've added a new counter up here where we move uh, a zero into register B, which is the start sentence counter at zero. And that, of course, is going to push everything down so these areas in blue that do jumps, they're going to change. So for now, we'll just leave them blue knowing, to remind us that we need to make changes once we get this, uh, the rest of this program completed. Now the next thing we do, once we start the counter, we're going to want to load that into the A register and then compare it to whatever number of times we want the sentences to actually be printed. So that's done right here. I move the contents of B, which is a zero right now, into A. And for now, we'll compare that to five because we want it to print five times. You can change this number to any number you want. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do, once we do that compare, we're going to have to jump to an end to halt the program, or we continue on in which case we're going to want to increment the B register so the next time the sentence prints we're updating the count until we get to 5. So let's see what we have here. Here we compare to 5 
If it is a 5, we're going to jump down to 40, or 0, 0, 40, which is jump to halt. And you can see down here we added at address 40 a halt command. Now, if it's not a 5 yet, it's going to increment to B, and then we actually start our program where we're you know, checking the status register, printing the registers. When it gets to FF, instead of uh, going into the loop, we're going to go back up here to address 002 and reload the first letter. So let's make sure we have all of these in here correct. First, the first letter is at 1F. Uh, that is correct. Then, right here, uh, we're checking to see, oh yeah, if uh, the status register is empty, and if it isn't, we go back here to C. So 0C is correct on that one. Then, of course, now we're going to check to see if we're at the last letter. And if we are at the last letter, we want to start printing a new sentence. Well, a new sentence starts printing right here at 0, 2. So we have our 0, 2 in there. And the last jump we make is, you know, after we print a letter, we want to start printing the next letter, which is, again, would be started up here at 0, C. So right now we have everything in order. And we should be printing the sentence five times. So let's go back to our computer, enter this new bit of code here, and see if we can't control how many times the sentence prints. OK, now we've re-entered our program. Hopefully we did it correctly. And this time the uh, sentence should print only five times. So let's execute at zero and see what happens. There we go. One, two, three, four, five times exactly. Now, if we make a change uh, in that compare, where we compare to five, is at address 7. We can change address 7 to be any number we want. So let's stop here, reset, and run it and run. And let's we'll first take a look at 7, DU7. It should be our 5. Now we're going to E in 7. And let's make it an 8, 0, 8. Execute zero, and it should print eight times. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. Let's do this one more time. Stop, reset, examine, and run. And you address seven. So we got our eight, so we're going to keep in seven. And this time, we're just going to print it three times. Execute zero. And there we go, three times. That's uh, basically what we we're trying to do. Have control of exactly how many times we print the sentence, I like my computer. So I hope you were able to learn something from this, how to add a loop and uh, how to control your program. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Have a good day.